One very common request we get is for an email to go to a user whenever they're assigned to an incident. In this presentation, we're going to look at how Service Manager handles email notifications, and then we'll see what we can do to provide this functionality. Service Manager can send email notifications to two kinds of recipients. Related recipients, such as the affected user or the assigned to user on a work item, or specific or named recipients, such as users Karen Toe or Neil Black. Notifications in Service Manager can also be triggered on a number of different conditions. The first condition is when an item or an object is created. For instance, when an incident or a change request or another type of work item is created. The other condition is when an item is updated. For instance, when the priority on a problem is changed to 1 or a service request status is changed to on hold. The last condition that Service Manager can trigger an email on is with a periodic notification. For instance, we can monitor an incident's SLO status, and when it changes to either warning or to breached, we can trigger an email notification letting someone know. Here are a few additional examples of the kinds of notifications we can do natively inside of Service Manager. The first is we can email the affected user on an incident when it is created. This is helpful in letting a person know that their incident has been received and providing them useful information such as the ID number and the title. Another is that we could email Karen Toe whenever a problem priority is changed to 1, letting her know that a high priority problem has been created and that she may need to, to be aware of something. The next example is to email the assigned to user on an incident when the SLO status for that incident is changed to breach, letting them know that they've missed their target SLO. And the last example here is emailing the assigned to user when that user has been assigned to an incident. Unfortunately, we can't handle this type of notification using the standard service manager functionality. And the reason for this is because while Assigning a user to an incident sounds like an update notification. What's actually happening here is we're creating a relationship between that incident and a user object in Service Manager. The solution to this is to use a relationship-based notification. A relationship-based notification is an email notification that's triggered whenever any kind of relationship is created in Service Manager. And while this type of workflow is supported by Service Manager, it's a custom workflow that cannot be configured inside of the Service Manager console or through the UI. And this is the only way to reliably notify an assigned to user when assignment changes have happened. I've logged into the Service Manager console and I'm looking at a list of incidents that have been assigned to me. I see here that I've got incident IR222 stating that a report is missing a column. I'll open up that incident in the console and look at the form. I see here that the AR aging report is missing a greater than 90 column. Now, I know that I can't fix this kind of issue, so what I need to do is escalate this to the enterprise applications team and assign this to an analyst within that team. So I will use the escalator transfer task to escalate the incident and change the support group to enterprise applications. And I'll add a comment stating why I did so. The next thing I'll do is I'll assign this incident to an analyst within that team that I know would be able to fix this issue. I'll then click OK to save this incident. The custom workflow will now trigger and will email me letting me know that I've been assigned to this incident. And there it is. And we can see here that based on the change in the assigned to user, I've been notified that now I'm assigned to this incident and I've got to go in and fix this issue. This solution is stored in a standalone management pack that can be easily imported into any service manager environment. This management pack contains two objects. The first is an email notification template 
and can be easily modified in the templates view inside the administration workspace in the console. It also contains the workflow that triggers the email notification using that template whenever a user is assigned to an incident. 